Hello everyone, this is Fazana for Fazana Slow and thank you so much for joining me today in this brand new vlog where I'll be sharing with you all my personal insights and reflections of the week as a trainee solicitor based in London. So thank you so much for joining me today and I'm so excited for you all to actually join me and learn something new or some of the things that I personally learned myself in the past week that has gone by. And before I begin, I want to share with you all some thanks because I love the fact that all of you are always taking away something away from my videos whether they might be through my vlogs or through my actual videos of tan laws or any other videos for that matter from my youtube channel because my the whole reason why i ever created this youtube channel was to make sure that i can help someone out there and making sure that whoever actually comes across my channel they can find something useful some useful advice because i don't want to be putting out some mindless content that only attracts views but i'm not providing you with something valuable because i don't i don't want to be wasting your time basically so thank you so much for every single one of you who are enjoying my videos and are liking them sharing with them with everyone and also subscribing to my channel because that has met her so much to me i can't tell you all every day i wake up with this gratitude thinking that you know Today, I'm going to be doing something really nice and I cannot wait to inspire someone. I cannot wait to actually make someone feel happy. And that's basically the whole my point of my YouTube channel. So thank you so much and Jazakallah all for your support. So before I begin in today's vlog, I want to share with you all that this week has been again quite hectic because obviously one of my colleagues was actually went on to annual leave and she has been having the best time of her life because obviously she went to Dubai and he has been very nice and revolutionary because she was sharing with me all of the WhatsApp status and everything. I could see it like, you know, all of the videos. It was amazing. But that also means that I was covering most of her work as well, which was also very burdening to me, of course, because I have to handle many things at the same time. But actually that told me how the art of actually time management and productivity and how to achieve your goals really effectively because I'm a type of a person who has if I have a lot on my plate then I make sure that I write it down as clearly as possible on a diary and that helps me actually consistently making sure that I'm not missing anything out and that has been very helpful for me this week. At the same time, I want to share with you all some personal insight of the week that I've learned as well which is the fact that never ever hide your true self in front of anyone and everyone the reason why i'm saying this is because especially at work do not trying to be someone that you're not for example if most of your colleagues are very talkative they're party people and they love actually hanging out with everyone and anyone you know during lunchtime or other colleagues but yet somebody who is completely opposite of that which means that you like to be on yourself you like to be by yourself and have your own lunch and reflect on the day and recharge do not ever feel obliged to actually conform to their standards standards of how what it takes to have a break because this is very crucial because you know whenever you are surrounded by many people it is very easy for you to get influenced by other people especially if it's a majority so let's say if you're one but nine people in your office are actually very talkative party people extroverted people but you're completely the opposite which is introverted I like to stay on my own and during lunchtime I like to be on my own as well so, that, so then obviously you might feel compelled and sometimes even forced to actually confirm to their own standards of actually taking a break, quote unquote. But I'm here to tell you that as somebody who is completely an introvert, I like to be on myself every single day during lunchtime because that was helps me actually recharge and really gain confidence and creativity. And my creativity is basically boosted and I'm charged. So it's very important for me to actually have that me time during my lunchtime. And during this lunchtime, what I like to do is personally have my lunch, of course, the first 15 minutes and then the rest of the time what I like to do is maybe have a walk or go around look about the nature go to a park or stroll around the shops and see what is basically on sale what is not on sale so that actually helps me in making sure that I'm giving myself my me time. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys that I have been many, many times when some of my colleagues do want to have lunch with me and they have invited me so many times in, you know, in places like Nando's and Turkish restaurants and everything like that. But I'm of a t type of a person who needs my me time during lunchtime because I'm somebody who's surrounded by so many people every single day, clients, lenders, you know, um, my boss, my supervisors, so many kinds of people. So it's very, it's very energy draining for myself, especially because I'm an introvert and a shy introverted girl so I can be confident when I need to I can switch on that you know side of me very easily mashallah Allahumma barik. but at the same time I need to make sure that I am also myself in front of everyone which is to be my truest authentic self 
And I cannot stress to you all the fact that we do not need the same version of one kind of a personality in the whole entire world. We need different kinds of people in this world. And that's why I highly encourage for everyone to embrace the true self, your true, true um, authentic self. And personally, I feel like that the more you embrace it, the more people respect you as well at work as well, because they think that you're somebody who cannot be messed with, you're somebody who cannot be easily influenced by, and you're somebody who people have to talk very nicely and respectfully because you know yourself so really much very really well. So it's very important that you are always being your true self and do not worry about what other people are going to think if you're not joining in their conversations or if you're not joining in the drama of other people, what is happening with this colleague's personal life, that person, person's uh, personal life, whatever that might be. But just be your true self. So if somebody who likes to stay quiet and mind your own business and do your work, that's what you basically find the most peace at actually doing your work, then do that. So do not be ever afraid to actually show your true personality to anyone. And I feel like that the more you also do that, your, your boss will also appreciate because he will see that you're somebody who is very calm, very cool and collected and you can think uh, think to um think through things basically so yeah so i hope that this message actually helps you so if you're somebody who is completely like an introverted myself and you find sometimes that it can be very energy draining for you to be around so many people especially if you're somebody who is you know working in a professional setting like a solicitor job or any kind of a nine to five job that is requires a lot of um, skill set and a lot of thinking and a lot of brain power basically you need to make sure that you're true as self as much as possible and do not be afraid to to showcase yourself the best way as much as possible. And I remember once I was interacting with my boss and he exactly told me that, you know, he likes this quality in me that I'm very authentic about who I am. I'm not somebody who is pretentious. I'm, I'm not somebody who tries to fit in around everybody else's circle and you know core values or whatever that might be because I have my own set of core values which I follow every single day and I showcase that really well alhamdulillah when I'm at work and that's what I'm trying to portray to you all guys in this vlog I feel like that this reminder has been very revolutionary this week especially because there has been an encounter where I had to share my opinion about something and obviously the people around me were really shocked to hear that because they probably thought that I was going to confirm to their standards or to their opinion I was going to confirm to that but that obviously didn't happen because I just wanted to be myself and I couldn't tell you guys I felt so powerful being me I felt so powerful I felt so good and I felt like I was standing my own ground and defending my own core values which makes me me and that's very important because if you do not stand up for your own self and you do not stand up for your own core values and nobody else will and that's basically the truth so i hope that this video and this vlog is kind of like a reminder for you all today the fact that be yourself as much as possible but that doesn't mean that obviously now you stay stagnant in one you know in one type of a way for the rest of your life you need to keep growing as well you need to keep learning every single day as well and that's what i basically try to preach to you all through these vlogs as well because it's a reminder for myself and my future children inshallah as well one day when they're going to be watching this video they're going to see what mom was up to and they're going to be able to see what basically kind of a person i was myself so yeah thank you so much everyone for joining me today in today's vlog and i hope that this reminder helps you in some way or another to actually be your tr truest authentic self as much as possible today and forever and if you want to check out my resources that i have for you all for free as well they're all linked in the description box below underneath all of my videos and if you want to reach out to me you can email, always email me at fazanaslow at gmail.com, which is a common email that people ask me a lot. With, what is my email? It's fazanaslow at gmail.com. And it's always linked in the description box below as well. And of course, if you guys have any other video suggestions and video ideas, any vlog ideas, whatever that might be, what, what would you like to see next? Comment down below or you can email me at fazanaslow at gmail.com as well to be, reach out to me and communicate with me your ideas. Other than that, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. And I'll see you guys very, very soon in my next vlog.